right, the postman has arrived. You dropped off your package. Congratulations, you are the owner of your very own Kashaka house. Yes. All right, a few more things that you want to do before you start playing with your balls. First thing that we want to do is just to make sure that the rope length between the balls is the right size for my hands, and in your case, your hands. So check it out. Here we have a set of our little lock kashakas, and we want to check the rope length by simply placing them in our hands as if we were going to play them. If you don't know about that yet, it's between the peace sign fingers, around the three and back into the hand. Okay? Now you're going to notice that the rope's got three knots on it. It's got one knot on this end, it's got another knot on the far end, and then another knot in the middle. The knot in the middle is the one that we adjust back and forth to get the exact rope length that we want. Super simple. Okay, so if you happen to have a set of kashakas that has a fatter rope on it, like this one, and it doesn't have a knot on the end, it's kind of got this little nubby, uh, there's a different video that we made for this particular Pro Series Kashaka. So check out the link below and you'll find that uh, in the comments. Check out the comments below and you'll find the link there and it'll take you to the other video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and bing! We look forward to uh, keeping in contact with you guys. All right, here we go. I'm gonna place them in my hands and I'm gonna check the distance and the slack that I have here when I pull this rope tight. And what I wanna have there is basically just enough room to slide my finger underneath where the rope is still a little bit snug on my finger. Okay, it kind of looks like this. Mm-hmm, looks like it's snug, it feels snug. So I'm gonna adjust that middle knot and just make that a little bit tighter simply by opening up the knot and sliding it down toward the center, which will shorten the length. Let's check it out, place it back in my hands. Nice and snug on my finger. And remember, if you're a beginner, sometimes it's better to have a little extra slack than have it too tight. Okay, super cool. Let's play with our balls a little bit. Sorry, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Uh, now, the next final step that we're gonna do, everybody, is just to simply trim this bit of rope off the end and burn it. But first we want to make sure our knots are tight, so give it a little like so, pull it nice and tight so our knots are very strong and tight. And now we're going to cut off the ends of the rope. How do we do that? Simply by using a sharp knife and a little bit of fire to burn the frizzled end once we cut the rope. So let's check it out. Come on in and we'll do that so you can do your final step and get on with playing with your balls. Yes! All right, the final cut. Now we are going to cut the end of this rope off because we don't need it anymore. We got our knots nice and tight. We got the right length between our kashaka balls. We're happy. So we're going to use this uh, super sharp knife. Safety first. And we're going to use this fire. I like to cut it just a little bit away from the knot. Let's say a quarter of an inch or less. So we have some rope to melt. Because what happens is when I cut the rope, it gets a little bit frayed at the end. I'm sure you've all seen that before with rope. So then we're going to use our fire, safety first, and we are going to just touch the flame to the frayed end of the rope until it becomes a little bit liquefied. We don't want to catch it on fire, we just want to allow it to create a nice little glossed nubby on the end, which will prevent it from fraying further. And it looks super duper cool. Give it a moment to cool down because it can still be hot. And once it's cooled down, we are ready to shake it up. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really enjoyed our time together. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the box below or check out some more of our videos. And we love you. Until next time, my friends, may the peace be with you.